Yorkshire in the UK is a great place to live and it's a great place to fly but it's not flat and in bad weather it can be dangerous. Lots of people have lost their lives through what's known as CFIT, Controlled Flight into Terrain. Two such chaps were John Staples and Ralph Andrews. Here's their story. Right, we're going to go have a look for the crash site. Um, it's at the top of the ridge up there. And I'd just like to say thank you very much to everyone who's subscribed so far. Um, I've only done four or five videos and I've got 600 subscribers already. So thank you very much. Your support's greatly appreciated. Sergeant John Staples and Sergeant Ralph Andrews died together on Ilkley Moor on the 22nd of March 1943 through no fault of their own. John was from Wales and Ralph was from Stoke-on-Trent and they both joined the RAF Voluntary Reserve. Now the Voluntary Reserve, it was a volunteer um, service that was to supplement the Royal Auxiliary Air Force, which at the start of the war was created to supplement the Royal Air Force. By 1943, they needed the Royal Air Force Voluntary Reserve. Now, they were both stationed at Church Fenton in Yorkshire, and they were in 25 Squadron, which was flying mosquitoes. The mosquito was a fantastic aircraft. It was made of um, plywood and it had two Rolls-Royce Merlin engines, the same as on the Spitfire. It, it was initially made as a light bomber and its main factor was that it could get away from any other aircraft, so it didn't need to carry arms, armaments. By 1943, it was being used on Ranger raids now what these were, they were similar to what the Germans were doing and they'd go over at night and they'd infiltrate the um, circuit pattern of an airfield and they'd slot in with the aircraft that were coming into land and shoot them down. They'd even follow them down onto the runway and strafe them as they were coming down so the German pilots thought they were home and dry but because of these ranger raids the mosquitoes could um, shoot them down. I managed to take a look at the ORBs, which is the operational record books for um, Church Fenton in the weeks previous to when um, John and Ralph went down to Coltisol to see what they were doing. And they were doing patrols around this area and they were also calibrating radar equipment for, for nearby airfields and the, the, the ORB, the Operations Record Book, shows that 
has records of them. I'll show you one example of the raids that they went out. Mainly they went out at about six or seven o'clock at night and got back um, about nine-ish. But a lot of times they went out about nine o'clock and came back 12, one o'clock in the morning. 25 Squadron was based at Church Fenton in Yorkshire, but it was a little bit far away um, from the um, Europe. So they were using a forward base, Coltis Hall in Norfolk. And it's from there that three mosquitoes of 25 Squadron were returning to Church Fenton on the evening of the 22nd of March, 1943. The raid that they'd been sent down there to carry out was cancelled on that day therefore they were told to return to church fenton so on the evening of the 22nd of march three mosquitoes took off from coltisol to fly back up to church fenton now when they got back up to the area they, they radioed to let the controller know that they were uh, going to land but ralph and john were given instructions to fly in the wrong direction of the circuit pattern by the controller. And on top of that, they were also given the wrong altitude to fly at. Now this wrong information put them over Ilkley Moors, which, they did, which was high ground and it was low cloud and they couldn't see where they were going. They were probably at about 1200 feet when they hit the, um, the side of the hill on the moors and the plane somersaulted and a large area of debris was left and the plane flew over towards a wall and it came to, to rest against a wall. In the hill uh, up to the crash site and I'm out of breath uh, as you can see the view that's uh, Silston down there in the valley So this is the view from uh, the hill where the aircraft crashed. We're just approaching the um, crash site now to give you an idea of the type of uh, land it came down on. <laughs> 